Now let's talk about the hidden field. Hidden field is used to manage the state or some or store some uh, value on the page and those value is stored in the form of a string. Uh, there is no UI for the hidden field. It is invisible but can hold some data that can be retrieved on the server side. So let us see this, uh, this with example here. Here is my ASPX code. So I am going to just uh, create my ASPX code here by copy pasting from the uh, ebook. So here is my ASPX code and in this we have a hidden field whose ID is hidden field 1 and then we have a button control and on click of the button control we are executing submit data server side method. So let us create a submit data server side method as well here. So here is my submit data method. Now here what we are doing is that as soon as a uh, user will click this particular button it will fire submit data method and in that submit data method we are retrieving the value of the hidden field and we are writing on the page. Now remember that in case you have a text box you, you retrieve its value using text property but in case of hidden field you will have to retrieve its uh, value using the uh, value property. Now. Uh, by default its value we have specified as hidden field value so uh, let me change it let me make it to some data now when we will run this page you will see that uh, only one button will appear on this page because uh, as I said earlier there is no UI for this hidden field so you will not see any UI now when I will click this you can see that hidden field value is some data coming from the server side now in order to set the data of this hidden field from the server side you can simply access it so hidden field 1 dot and value and you can write its value for example the hidden field value has been changed now because it is written into the page load so I can cover that I can wrap this into if not each post back now what will happen is that when I will load this particular page then you can see that as the value will be set uh, as this hidden field value has been changed go to the source code and you will see that and you can see that this is my uh, hidden field element whose value has been changed now when I will click the submit date uh, uh, button we will get the value that was uh, uh, written from the code behind so uh, you can either specify the value of the hidden field on the HPX page or you can set from the code behind as well now let's uh, talk about calendar control calendar control is one of the rich ASP.NET server control that enables us to place a calendar on the web page now if you have to generate a calendar with yourself it will I think it will take days to uh, generate this calendar type of calendar in ASP.NET explicitly but using ASP calendar control we can simply place few uh, one line of code and, and we can uh, we can render a calendar so let us see that now uh, in order to uh, render a calendar you can simply keep one calendar control ASP calendar runner equal to server and ID equal to whatever you want to specify and then simply run this page now uh, there is nothing into the code behind as you can see now when I will run this page you will see that one calendar will appear in my web page let me close this page and then view, view in browser and you will see that one calendar is appearing all the navigations and everything is already built you can click on the go to next month and you can see that you will be able to navigate through various months of this particular calendar control <coughs> Now the next uh, uh, how to is how to specify a caption for the calendar control. There might be possibility that you have four or five different calendar controls on the page, and you want to specify caption for each of the calendar. In that case, what you can do is that you can write uh, uh, you can set the caption property of this calendar. For example, caption. This is the first calendar, and now I am going to keep one more calendar here, and then I am writing its ca uh, caption as second calendar. Now when I will run this page you will notice that it will basically uh, render two calendar on my page and uh, it will write its caption as uh, this is the first calendar and this is the second calendar. So caption is basically used to notify the user that okay this calendar is about a particular uh, purpose and the another calendar is about uh, altogether different uh, purpose. 
now the next how to is how to specify different styles of next previous text of the month and the day of the week let us see this with a, uh, with, with a demonstration here so here is my calendar control and you will notice that in this we have a specified next previous format equal to full month and day name format equal to full first see the existing uh, calendar in, a, in the existing calendar the day name is can, coming as three characters only but because we have specified day name format equal to full so now when I will render uh, refresh this page you will see that the day name will appear completely here you can see that now day name is coming Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, Saturday Com complete day name of the day is coming and uh, because next previous uh, format is also full month so, so complete full month is coming as the next and previous link now there are many other uh, 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 values and that you can also specify for example if you want to specify short month then what will happen is that instead of the complete month name it will come short so only three character will come now you can see that only APR is coming and for June it is coming JUN now similarly you can also specify uh, next previous format equal to custom text and then you will have to specify next month text is equal to whatever custom text you want to specify so let us specify double greater than here and then previous month text equal to double less than and uh, now let us run this uh, page now when we will run this page you will see that instead of month name it is coming my custom text double le less than and then double greater than now you can also modify the day name format so for example the day name format is first letter or first two letter I am writing first two letter now uh, instead of the complete day name only first two letter of the uh, day name will appear here you can see that S U M O and T U W E T H F R and S A like these things are coming there are, there are many uh, values like that that you can use to customize the look and feel of your calendar control now the next how to is how to fire server side event uh, on click of the f of the date so in order to fire a server side event on click of the date what we can do is that we can specify on selection changed event now here you can see that uh, we have a specified on selection changed event and then we have a specified a method called get selected uh, date now we will have to uh, of course uh, write or create a get selected date uh, server side uh, method so let us go ahead and create get selected date server side method now here what will happen is that as soon as the date any date of the this calendar control will be clicked then this get selected date uh, server side method will fire and using selected date property you can write the uh, uh, selected date of the calendar control so let me show you this let me refresh this page now here is the default calendar now as soon as I will click any of the date for example let us click on 8 now you can see that it is coming the the selected does the clicked date is being displayed here because I had it in response dot right and calendar control dot selected date so this is what the date is selected and it is appearing on the page so in order to fire a server side event and catch the selected date you can specify on selection changed event and then specify the method name and under that method you can use selected date property of the calendar control and it trips the clicked date now there might be scenario where you want to uh, specify some default selected date for the calendar control from the code behind so in order to do that what you can do is that you can write uh, 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 the selected date property uh, from the code behind so here what I have done is that for example first let me uh, bring this calendar control in the default format here and I am going to comment this code as well so I don't have anything here so this is my default uh, uh, calendar control that is appearing like this okay so this is my default calendar control you notice that there is no date selected here 
Now if I want to select any by de default date for the calendar control as soon as the page is rending then what we can do is that we can access the selected date property and we can set the value. So here I am specifying date time dot today dot add days 3. So I am adding 3 days from to to today's date and I am setting selected date property of the calendar control. So today uh, so it will select the 6th of uh, May because today is 3rd of May so it will add 3 days in of uh, today's date and it will select that 6th of May you can see here because of this uh, line of code it is selecting the date of the calendar control when the calendar is loading on the page now the next how to is how to uh, specify the selection mode so that user can select entire month or entire week so let us see that this is very interesting now here what we can do is that uh, in order to uh, let the user to select entire week what we can do is that we can specify the selection mode property let me show you that so here is my calendar control and here I have specified selection mode equal to day week now specifying selection mode equal to day week what it will happen is that it will basically allow the user to, to select the entire uh, day sorry entire week now you can see that when there was uh, no selection mode property so let me remove it and show you when there is nothing here then you can see that there is only dates are coming okay but we, as soon as I will must, uh, specify selection mode equal to day week you will notice that some greater than uh, symbol will come uh, at the first column and when you will click any of the greater than symbol then that particular week will be selected you can see that now the entire week has been selected from first till seven now when I want to select this week from 15th till 21st I will click this particular link and the whole week has been selected so using selection mode property you can specify the the mode of, of selection for, for the calendar control for example if I want to select day week and month then I can specify selection mode is equal to day week and month and that will basically uh, render the control that will uh, enable the user to select the month its month also so for example here one uh, double greater than link has come when I will click this then the entire month will be selected you can see here and uh, as we saw earlier we can also select the week as well so using selection mode property property you can enable the user to select the entire week or entire month or the day itself.